Welcome to twitch.tv slash Outrageous Mashiba for another episode of OMWWE Smackdown, episode 10. And we've got some huge breaking news going into the program that Daniel Bryan has been named for his victory over Edge last week. Number one contender. for the SmackDown Championship and we'll get a future SmackDown title opportunity at a pay-per-view event. But tonight, in Long Beach, California, in front of the OM Universe, in our main event, the number one contender, Daniel Bryan, will be teaming up with Mustafa Ali to take on the team of Sheamus and SmackDown Champion Edge. Huge main event later on tonight. Let's go down to ringside now for our opening contest. And we're starting off with Apollo Crews. I believe this is the first time we've seen him in one-on-one -on -one action. Making his way to the ring from Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing at 241 pounds, Apollo Crews. Although, bear in mind, uh, the fact that Apollo Crews has not competed one-on-one -on -one in an episode of SmackDown in this series. He was at blood, sweat and tears. Um, he was on team, team Mustafa Ali, Daniel Bryan and Rusev. Which took on the team of, in an eight-man tag team match, team Robert Roode, Baron Corbin, Samoa Joe and Sheamus. Unfortunately, in a losing effort, Rusev suffering defeat to Robert Root. But efforts were put in that night, and Apollo Crews looking to make an impact in the singles division. Who is currently IRL, your current WWE US champion. Keep that under consideration. And here comes a glorious one. week with Rusev unsuccessfully Rusev absolutely dominating in the latest stages of that matchup making Robert Roode tap out Robert Roode not happy with his position here on OMWWE Smackdown I mean he is definitely getting more time to prove himself but he needs to win matches no one's going to win a match for you especially in the singles division and if you have trouble winning in the singles match, go find a partner and go probably to the tag team division. I've been hearing rumours about a SmackDown tag team championship coming into work. Maybe Robert Root may want to jump divisions and be potentially one of the first SmackDown tag team champions. That's my opinion. He doesn't have to take it. I'm just a commentator. But the fact of the matter is, he needs to win if he wants to be in the singles division. This slump continues of Robert Roode and him being frustrated and not doing anything about it is quite frustrating to watch from out here. All right, one-on-one -on -one match about to begin. And look at Cruz. Ooh, the power, the strength, the quickness of Cruz on the... Ooh, straight away. And drop toe hole. Robert Roode hung up now. Ooh, lays the knees. So huge news coming into tonight's OMWWE SmackDown. Daniel Bryan has been announced. Number one contender for the WWE SmackDown Championship in the OM Universe and will be facing Champion Edge at a later date at a pay-per-view event. Uh, we'll probably get more details 
either later tonight or next week as soon as we hear them pretty much and we'll keep an eye on the information panel for updates and now look at Apollo Cruz working on Robert Rubin a neck breaker twisting spinning neck breaker pinfall attempt early kick out Ooh, doesn't get it Apollo Cruz does not get that move now look at Rude glorious DDT early and goes for the cover and Cruz kicks out the young talented athletic Apollo Cruz kicks out and the knee to the back of the head and Robin Rude reining it in now for following up to the kick to the back And now look at Rude. Ooh, shot to the midsection. Trying to get the OM Universe behind him. They're not too interested in Robert Rude. Got a power out early by Apollo Cruz. I mean, the only thing the OM Universe really cares about Robert Rude is his theme song. That's the only thing they care about about him. Now, what is Rude thinking about? This is unorthodox. Doesn't connect, of course. Into the barricade goes Rude. Now, Apollo Crew's going to take advantage. Now, look at this by... Oh, wait a minute, by Rude. Reverses into a reverse DDT on the floor. There's like a thin layer of padding there. Ooh. Concrete underneath. And I felt, and look at this, in front of the IRL announce team. Into the ring. A desperation of Robert Rude now. Like I was saying, I felt that padding before and it does not tickle. And now look at this. Ooh, knee. Knee to the face and the nose of Robert Rude. The glorious one may be feeling it. And a power out early. And ladies and gentlemen, later on tonight, we'll be also having a special appearance by Kane. The big red machine looking to compete here on Monday, uh, on Friday night SmackDown, I should say. Wrong show. Oh, and another knee to the face. And another pin. That's how good Raw was in episode 10. Still thinking about it. But yes, Kane, the big red monster, ever since being drafted, hasn't been really seen. And uh, Apollo Crews, I don't know what he was going for there. Misses with that move. Ooh, punch the back of Rue. Yeah, Kane has really been missing out of the scene in, on SmackDown. He was drafted to SmackDown earlier on in the series. First one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. And Rue with a huge power slam. And a power out off the pinfall attempt. And now, look at Rue. Bell clap follows up with a huge toss there. And another knee. Trying to break the face and nose of the glorious one. Now look at Cruz. The athletic Cruz. Gets the drop kick from the middle rope. Absolutely incredible stuff by Apollo Cruz. Into the cover, hooks the leg. Looks for three, only gets two. Now Cruz doesn't get it. Going for that neck breaker. And Robert Rude going to go for a neck break of his own. And it connects. But Cruz back up. Crew's going to do here. And back suplex. It connects. Standing shooting star press. Is that it? Apollo Cruz going for the win. Two. And a Cruz gets it. Apollo Cruz defeats the glorious one here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. And Robert Cruz with another L. What does Robert Roode need to do to rejuvenate his career on the SmackDown brand?
But don't let that take away from the fact that Apollo Cruz, with the persistence, the power, the strength, the strikes of the knee into the face of Robert Roode, it was enough to get the victory off the standing shooting star press. And look at this beautiful drop kick. That was incredible. The agility of Apollo Cruz. Congratulations, Apollo Cruz. And definitely the SmackDown decision makers definitely look it on. I dare say, this is only my opinion, but we definitely need a mid-card title on the SmackDown brand. That's just my opinion, because a man like Apollo Crews would definitely be in the running for that championship title. Let's head back down to ringside as Kane is in action against this man. Wow. Can you believe it? The Bulgarian brute stepping up to the plate against the big red monster. And apart from the loss in the eight-man tag team match that was suffered uh, by Robert Roode defeating him at Blood, Sweat and Tears, Rusev has looked unstoppable here on OMWWE SmackDown. Is he actually going to pull away the big red monster Kane? Wow. And if you don't believe me about the brutality and the dominance of Rusev, go and ask Tony Nese. After Tony Nese's series of matches of Rusev and suffering defeat, we have not seen Tony Nese since. Oh my God, this is actually happening. Here comes the big red monster, Kane. Well, I actually saw this match on paper. That was handed to me by the SmackDown decision makers just before we went on air here on our live stream. And when I saw Kane against Rusev, I seriously could not believe it. Two dominant men. Although Kane hasn't been seen much in the series, if you watched this man career this man's career at IRL, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And it's happening. It's gonna be Kane v Rusev. Here we go. And look at Kane with a power slam straight away. Trying to put him away. Oh no. Wow, these two big Oof, huge man. I mean, Rusev's not a small man. But because of Kane's figure, he looks a little bit smaller than Kane. And I'm trying to put that the nice, nicest way as possible. Now look at Kane with a power bomb. Now what is Kane doing? I have no idea. Rusev's struggling. This is unlike Rusev. Oh, but he reverses, gets the power of the hips to be able to reverse that move. And look at this, a roll-up. I don't blame Rusev for trying to, but he's got the ropes. The momentum pushed both men back onto the ropes. The referee called it. I mean, I don't blame Rusev trying to get the victory early. Because Kane is an absolute freak. And now look at this. Back body drop. And now Rusev rolls out. Ooh, lays the elbow into the mask and face of Kane. And now look at Kane. Big boot connect. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a minute. Whoa. This can't be. 
Oh my God, it's it's The Undertaker. Wait a minute. Now Kane looking to put the dead man away. What the hell is going on here? the hell Kane and Undertaker and look at this on oh, a back body drop and that puts the match away Kane with the victory due to the dead man's interference by a disqualification what the hell was that all about Undertaker after his brother Kane I have no idea what about. I mean, we'd like to get more word about it, but them two men are not, are not the type to really speak about what's going on. Uh, but Kane with a victory by a disqualification. We'll try and keep you updated on that story. I have not, a, not an idea why Undertaker was trying to take out his brother Kane. Anyway, let's move on. main event match coming up in a matter of moments thanks for staying with us so our main event tag team match coming up in a matter of moments number one contender for Edge's Smackdown title Daniel Bryan teaming up with Mustafa Ali to take on Sheamus and the champion Edge let's head back down the ringside and let's get this underway huge match huge Here comes the number one contender. And Daniel Bryan last week on SmackDown getting a huge victory over Edge. Finally taking down the rated R superstar, and after what is what is Edge's yeah, what is after what Edge has been doing lately, I'm finally glad that Daniel Bryan was the man to step up and take him down. Is that a future pay-per-view event? It's going to be Edge defending his title against Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan's tag team partner, Mustafa Ali. And his partner from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali and Daniel Bryan, ready. something going on here I think Daniel Bryan and Mustafa Ali and now you can see Sheamus joined by Smackdown champion Edge there's a fight on the on the ramp on the highway here we go Bryan and Mustafa Ali and look at Edge and Bryan fighting each other now Trying to take each other out. Oh my goodness, what a suplex by Daniel Bryan on the SmackDown Champion Edge. Daniel Bryan and Edge fighting it out whilst Mustafa Ali and Sheamus in the ring now. Look at this. The 10 beats by Sheamus. 
and it connects. And Seamus just having his moment in the spotlight as normal. Alright guys, so I'm back here. Welcome. Thanks for joining us once again at twitch.tv slash outrageous uh, The thing was uh, the game decided to crash on me after the tag team uh, breakout that was initiated by Daniel Bryan and Mustafa Ali. Uh, unfortunately the game crashing was out of my control. Um, but we're back here. I've restarted the match um, without any entrances this time. And, yeah, I wasn't expecting that to happen. So our main event, uh, nothing has been really affected. Uh, so that's okay. It's just I had to restart the match without the entrances this time around. Um, so thanks so much for joining us back here. It, it is a much appreciated as always. Uh, I apologise for the game crashing. Uh, it doesn't really happen that much on 2K19, but it does every now and again. Uh, so, apologies there. Alright, let's get back to the action. Number one contender, Daniel Bryan for the SmackDown Championship, has been pummeled by Sheamus thus far. Ooh, we've seen signs of light by Daniel Bryan. Just can't get out of the grasp of Sheamus. Over the top rope, down to the floor. Now pointing to Mustafa Ali. What's he thinking about? Oh, here we go. He's going to hit the 10 beats again, which he did before the game actually crashed, ironically. Hopefully the game doesn't crash again. No, it doesn't. And now look at this. Reversal. Ben Bryan trying to lift up Sheamus. Trying to hit the back suplex on the Celtic Warrior. And he's going to tag in the SmackDown Champion Edge. Oh, with a running Bulldog. And tags out to Mustafa Ali. Only to be taken out of the floor, down the ground. Look at Edge. Same old, same old with him. Looking for a count out. Mustafa Ali already back up. Though. Not gonna, that's not going to work. And a running Bulldog. Same movie hit the Daniel Bryan a few moments ago. Drop down, leapfrog. Follows it up with the tie up lock. Now he's going to whip Mustafa Ali into the corner. And Mustafa Ali gets out of the wrong side of town. And Mustafa Ali trying to get the advantage on the SmackDown champion. And Mustafa Ali and Edge have had their share of problems over the last few weeks. I was actually edging Mustafa Ali a couple of weeks ago in the main event of SmackDown. Mustafa Ali originally getting the, the victory. We've got the SmackDown decision makers. Decided to restart the match. And scratching his win from the record books. Because uh, Edge had ended up winning the match once it was restarted. Which it sucks if you ask me. It's the SmackDown decision makers. Haven't been the greatest. I know they're hearing what I'm saying right now. But as, I bike, as if I can. And now look at this. Brian and Mustafa Ali with a double super kick. And bam on the back of the knees. Daniel Bryan. Works on the arm of Sheamus, and now Sheamus may be in trouble here. With this joint manipulation. And again, working on the arms of Sheamus, and Sheamus is in trouble here. Eliminating the arms will definitely eliminate the Irish Curse backbreaker as well as the 10 beats on the outside. 
And Daniel Bryan knows this. Daniel Bryan, a smart competitor, a smart wrestler. And then Mustafa Ali coming in to give him a hand as he comes off the tag. And a double kick, both to the front and back of Sheamus. And now Mustafa Ali working on the arms now. Very smart. And a spinning hill kick connects. Shades of edge there. Maybe. Uh, maybe going tip for tap with edge. You know, blame the man. Now look at Mustafa. On the arms again. And Sheamus is in trouble. He's the kick, and now Sheamus back in control. And Sheamus in the corner there. That's the lady. What's this going to be? Uh, the one, Irish curse backbreaker, followed up by the double. Looking for the trifecta. He gets it. Sheamus now. Maybe setting up for the broke. And it connects. And he's going to target the SmackDown champion edge. Not like this. Goes for the cover. Hooks the leg. Stuff Ali. Broken up by Daniel Bryan. Edge trying to get the elbow in, but Daniel Bryan rolls out of the way. Whoops. And Sheamus accidentally laid out by Edge. I think that was an accident. Either that or Edge just got a bit frustrated with himself. Took it out on Shanks. I'm not 100% sure. Could be either either. Neck breaker by Ali. And now Ali setting up Edge in the middle of the ring. What's he going for here? Well, I think we may know what's coming next. No, he's not going to do it though. Another neck breaker. Edge with a O'Connor roll, but the ropes are there. And Taylor connects. Mustafa Ali may be in trouble here, guys. Now Edge setting up. Can he connect? Spear and he hits it. Goes for the cover. One. And Daniel Bryan breaking it up. Edge getting it. Oh, wait a minute. Reversed by Daniel Bryan, I was going to say. Shame is coming in attacking Daniel Bryan, but Edge getting the last laugh. But it wasn't today. Now look at Edge. What is he doing? Oh, misses. Spent too much time on Daniel Bryan, but look at this. Spear. Now look at Edge. Maybe looking for the count out. Oh, tries to spear Daniel Bryan, wasn't to be. And again. It's it. Finally gets it after three attempts. Oh, and now Ali back in the ring. Trying to build momentum, trying to get the OM Universe behind him. Pretty difficult when you're facing the master manipulator and now Mustafa's been busted open Ali in trouble here now Edge gets out of that and now look at Ali bam huge spinning tornado DDT like maneuver uh oh 
cross body. It connects. Now Daniel Bryan gets tagged into this contest. Our main event here on SmackDown. A little preview for the SmackDown title at a future pay-per-view event. Now look at Bryan. Shane is trying to get a cheap shot in. But Bryan gets the fury of, of offense. Oh, but look at Edge. Edge already back up though. Connects with a clothesline. Hits the face buster. And now Edge. Maybe looking for the impaler. Doesn't get it. But look at this. Maybe the S lock trying to make Edge tap out. No, not tonight. Gonna be the first time that Daniel Bryan has beaten Edge. That's how he got the number one contender spot. Defeating the rated R superstar who kicks out a two. And Sheamus gets thrown into the ring by Ali. Now look at this, Daniel Bryan now. Oh, but a spear by Edge into the corner. And look at Edge slowing the pace down of the yes movement. And goes to the pinfall attempt. Smackdown champion. No, Daniel Bryan kicks out. Misses with the boot off the ropes. Now look at this. Edge on the apron now. Mustafa Ali's been tagged back in. Oh, hung up on the ropes. And now Edge and Sheamus are both out on the outside. And now look at Ali. What's he going to do in our main event here of SmackDown? Misses. He misses that huge maneuver. Looks like he's going for a top rope hurricane runner. Now the SmackDown champion Edge working on the back again of Mustafa Ali. Just taking it out on Ali now. And now gets whipped in to the opposite corner. Wait a minute. Reversed. DDT. And a spinning heel kick misses. But Edge going for it again. Misses again. Look at Ali. Spring ball and moonsault to the back and neck of Edge. And Mustafa Ali now trying to take out the SmackDown champion in this huge main event tag team match. And Irish whip into the corner is Edge. And now clothesline to the Reddit R superstar and Daniel Bryan being tagged back in. The number one contender for Edge's SmackDown title. Maybe going for a German suplex connects. On the surgically repaired neck of Edge. Now Edge. Clothesline. Gets all of it. Looking to put Brian away here. Cover. Only a one. Mustafa Ali breaks it up. Shames a little bit slow on that one. Oh, and a backstabber. Now look at Ali. Ali going. What's Edge going to do? Over the top rope goes Daniel Bryan and Edge. Just enjoying himself now. Waiting for Daniel Bryan to get back in if he does. Looking for a count out. Referee continues the count. Daniel Bryan feeling a bit groggy. Doesn't look all with it. And we know Daniel Bryan IRL's had, had problems in the past. And now look at this. Referee's been taken out. Not for long. And Edge gets dunked out of the ring this time. Our main event rolls on.
for those joining us on twitch.tv slash outrageous Mashiba, thanks for joining us this is our main event of OMWWE Smackdown episode 10 the number one contender Daniel Bryan for Edge's Smackdown Championship and Mustafa Ali as we go into a cover here taking on Sheamus and Smackdown Champion Edge and what a main event it's been so far and as I took a little short break there it was Edge and Daniel Bryan fighting it out on the outside Edge obviously is looking for a count out Sheamus is intervening himself too as always but both men getting back in and now Edge setting up for the spear it connects Edge the Smackdown Champion has he pinned the number one contender and now main event no kick out by Bryan and Edge going to tag out he's had enough to his lackey Sheamus these two have been working as a tandem for weeks now and Daniel Bryan trying to rally up the S movement back on the outside in front of us here on the twitch.tv backslash table what's this gonna oh man doesn't get the missile drop kick Sheamus sidesteps, throws him back into the ring. Now both men looking to gain an advantage here. And it looks like Daniel Bryan's got it because he's locking in the yes lock. Will, Tamish, will Sheamus tap? And he does. Daniel Bryan makes Sheamus taps out. Wow. The number one contender sending a statement to the champion edge what a match what a main event oh man I thought that was it there from the spear from edge to Mustafa Ali yes lock on edge edge got to the ropes Edge also speared Daniel Bryan, but it wasn't that to win. It was the yes lock employed to Sheamus. The number one contender getting a last laugh against Sheamus and SmackDown champion Edge. What will this mean for their title match at an upcoming pay-per-view event? I guess you'll have to find out when episode 11 rolls around to you.